myself, how am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! <laughs> Kenny! Kenny! When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Walkers. They're so heavy. We'll make a cow catcher. Just what we need. Okay, just tell me what to do. 
There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Fall behind, I can't come back for you. Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? It's been at least an hour since I saw any walkers. Carver's people should be keeping them busy for a while. That'd be lucky. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Rebecca, are you going to be okay? What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. We'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Jane, wait. 
Damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. Where's everyone else? We were hoping you would know. This memorial works fine as a meeting spot, but no way we can stay here long term. I told you, that's why we're waiting. And as soon as everyone else gets here, we'll figure something out. You wanted to leave without us? What? No. I wanted to go out and try to find everyone. Well, what does Kenny want to do? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I hate to say it, but Sarita's on her way out. She's probably gonna turn soon. Is, uh... Is he gonna take care of her? Jane! I know it's not pretty, but it's better than the alternative. It's not our decision to make. Just let me talk to him first. It's all right, Sarita. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be here with you. Right till the end. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? I said we just wanted a little fucking time alone to say goodbye. <gasps> shh, shh, shh. It's okay, babe. It's okay. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna do what we gotta do. Gonna play the shit hand that this shit world dealt us. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. You hear that, babe? Clem says she's sorry. Don't that make you feel better? <laughs> Why are you acting this way? Take one wild guess, Clementine. Everyone's scared. We don't know what to do. Enough, Clementine. I've had enough of this bullshit. Now for the last time, just leave us alone to say goodbye. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? It doesn't matter. We need to come up with a plan. Clem's right. Especially with that baby on the way. At least you tried. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold. And we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike. Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What? Suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, you need to take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem.
Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start... These are good people. We help each other. I can't leave that. You'd be surprised. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's... Situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it, if you wanna. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could've. What? What happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is... well... it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Why would you even do that? What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <clears throat> All right, jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. Shouldn't we be looking for Luke, Sarah, and Nick? In a situation like this, you gotta ask yourself, would they risk themselves for you? We've got enough to worry about as it is. Besides, we don't know where they are, or if they're even alive. Luke went off to try to save Sarah. I'm sure he'd try to save me, too. Okay, but first I want to show you something, and it might help find your friends. These are fresh walkers. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, 
Has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. It's never easy, but I don't really know how it's supposed to be. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Amy always had one in her purse. I jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> you can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. They're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Get off! Sarah! God damn it! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Oh no. It's Nick. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. I'm sorry, Nick. to it. If Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? I know. I've done this before. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. Okay, we're in. What now? Start by getting a better look. <laughs> How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. work. You know what you're doing. Now watch this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Take out the knees first. Then, put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. Alright, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. You're paying attention. Ah! 
It's gonna take some work to get over there. Let's see if we can find anything over there. Wait, we don't want to make any noise until we've dealt with those guys. Trick, huh? I'm not. That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? What can People. I do, Sarah? How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that Sarah, other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I think that's best. I'm with you. Good. What's going to grab their attention? I got you covered. We need to keep it going somehow. Damn it, don't do this. Let's find a way to keep it on. Not like this. You can't do this. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Look pretty strong. I can't help you if you, I can't help you if you don't. No, 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 no. Come on. Hey, over here! You gotta come here. Well, what am I looking for? See if you can find something to distract them. What are you thinking? Lean him on the horn. It'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand.
Gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. Hey, are you guys in there? I don't think that's getting through to them. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. This. Hurry! Sir, please. Who's out there? Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I... I saw him outside. Look, he was out there. But we took care of him. You know. When I heard y'all banging through the door. We gotta get moving. I'll second that. Well, I would have left already, but I I got Sarah here, and I I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you. They're okay. Sarah, come on. We... we have to go now. What's she doing? Can you get up? I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I... I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know, it was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then... Well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. Hi. No! <laughs> Shit. I know how you feel right now. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. Ever since the walkers, so many people I know have died. People I love. And for stupid reasons. Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. We can't be kids anymore, Sarah. You need to grow up, or you'll die. There aren't any other choices. Get to the skylight, now! Come on, I'll boost you. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. Clem, see what you can find. Can we use this? It's not big enough. God 
damn it. What? Ah! The sideboard! Oh, shit. Clem, you and Luke push. I'll hold this door shut as long as I can. Okay, ready? On three. One, two, three! up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on. Clem. Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? Now, Clementine. If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down too. Not again. Look, I know what you're trying to do, and it's not going to work. I can't! I can't! I can't! Daddy! I'm... Don't make me leave you! Come on! Dying like this is stupid! You can't save her, Clem. We have to go! Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! <gasps> oh, move! <laughs> Clementine! Grab her! <sighs> We gotta go. Sarah. Come on. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Please, Sarah, you've got to start trying, or you're not going to be okay. People won't want to help you if you aren't trying, but I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No. I mean... Clem, I wouldn't have to. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just, I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. 
jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? How could you leave your sister? I don't... I don't know. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah isn't dangerous. She's gonna be okay. Fine. Just be careful. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait. Wait, where's Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? He could try. At this point, I'd take anyone who's even been in a delivery room. But I, and that just leaves... Kenny. He brought Sarita in there not long after you left. I don't know if he's done it yet. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. We need your help, with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. She didn't want me to wait, but I had to. In case by some crazy chance, she didn't come back. Sarita was a good person. I liked her. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katya. Sarita. No peace. No rest. Kenny, you're not... you're not dead. We need you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I've done so great with everything else in my goddamn life. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. Nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. 
Maybe one of the others can look at it for you. Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know it must have been hard, but... Thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her, make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much, and she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah, I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. 
You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Find anything? No, not even trash. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. I guess it's broken. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Though. Jane! There's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so- Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Подожди, подожди. I'm just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. Do you understand me? Yes. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone, especially Malinka Devochka, a little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. Just... Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. 
My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. I'm sorry, Arvo. We need these. You will wish you hadn't done this. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Is it safe to let him go? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Taking some stupid kid's stuff. Like a bandit. I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Go bring those meds to the others and bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place opened, and we need to get moved in ASAP. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop, and a stranger showed up. He had a lot of medicine, so we took some. What? You robbed him? Seriously? You stole meds from somebody? Sometimes you have to do bad things if you want to survive. Where is this guy now? Jane took his gun and chased him off. Well, I guess Jane's really rubbed off on you. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people plain out done like me. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe, but nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that, that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. Carver deserved what happened to him. He was a bad man. No question about that. I'm just hoping we don't become the same. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? 
Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Alvin would be really proud of you right now. You think so? I hope you're right. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? We'll all help you keep the baby safe. Oh, yeah? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ah, oh shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust them, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also, really loud. Good point. Look at this, an old coat. Nice, good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. And someone could use it. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I'd blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh... We can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Lee would have loved this place. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind.
There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless... Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard Empty. all the time. Yeah, true enough. Nothing but junk in there. Trust me. Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. Over here. Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. <sighs> I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I push from... That happened. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. No problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. <laughs> hey. 
Hey, I got this. That looks pretty heavy. Oh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing. Just... That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. I just walked on in like I'd owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I'm starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think it went over there. Over here! Oh! Oh, shit! Shoot! Dang it! Not with the walkers out there. I'm even hungrier than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. <laughs> Shit, shit, oh God. Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh God, oh God. Oh no, oh. Stop, stop. Clem, Clementine. Shit, walkers. How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke. Kenny, we've got to do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny, we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God, there's so many. Mike, help Kenny. On it. Sarah, get going. He's okay. He's losing it. He's doing it to protect us. Kenny! Come on, man. Let's go! About as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what Clementine. Je Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Uh, What's going on? Well, uh, I mean. In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here, Kenny? What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right Shit. over here. Shit. Uh, oh, God. There oh God. you go. Just oh. rat it out. Oh. I have pills. I think they'll help with the pain. What are they? 
Looks like Oxy. I want him. Wait, wait, is that okay for a pregnant lady? Give me the fucking pills! Okay. They're coming up the stairs! Here, uh, we should... You wanna help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs! Shoot them before they get to us! Shit, that's a lot of them. We need everyone out here! I'm going outside. I'll help hold them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come! Here. We can't let them up here. Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? 
I don't know how. It's easy. Just keep him close and support his head. should rest especially you when's the last time you slept Kenny oh, about two years ago I'm fine but somebody's got to watch you while mama gets your beauty sleep you never forget that smell Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Go? Go where? Just... away, okay? You know, Jamie, Sarah... I'm not gonna stick around and... watch it happen to you two. You know the score. I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe, looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Thanks. Yeah. I, um... Uh, I gotta go. You'd be asleep by now. You okay? It's nothing, Luke. Don't worry about it. Okay. Just checking in with you. <sighs> the temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore. See if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit... Childish? God damn it, Kenny, you know what, just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. You guys are both acting like jerks. All you guys do is fight. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane, she made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you. Okay, everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. No. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit Kenny, together. Where's my baby? 
Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. Whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <coughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And it won't help the rest of us. Now what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. But we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have left right away, instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and been someplace warm days ago. We did the right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We could still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. Kenny's right. We have to keep going. Yeah, I guess. But we were still right to wait as long as we did. Remember, you agreed with me on that. Uh, uh, oh. Over here. It's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Uh, he's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't Shh. being weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? What is this? Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. <sighs> All right. Hello. Your name is Clementine. Yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. How is your sister doing? Sister? Not so good. I need, uh, uh, things for... bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? 
No. Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Fuck! Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что мы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у них не было. We don't want any trouble. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? Why get excited? Clementine, you robbed this guy? No, you aren't taking anything from us. They're not telling me to ask. So what is Josh? I wish we could have met differently, Clementine. But this is how it has to be. This can be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. We have a baby! You have a baby with you? У них грудничковый ребенок! Если ты знаешь, что хорошо для тебя, пустили оружие сейчас! И слишком много! Бурико, отойди! Drop that now, or I'm gonna fucking Please. shoot it. Oh, I'll do you. it. No, Drop don't it. even Drop try it, it motherfucker. I guarantee move. I'm a better said, shot than you are. I'll drop you both they before you can play. Everybody be cool. This doesn't have to go down like this. Don't shoot. But you don't look like stupid people. Let's just think about it. We can work something out. If nobody does anything stupid, don't make me do it. Look at me. Do you hear me? I will kill you if I have to. No! 